right, right, we're going to get a new member in. And this is going to be great for us. It's going to be a new spin. The uh, Sky News will be down there. Yeah. BBC will be on the front page of everything. Yeah, it's going to be great. And this is how we're going to go forward. The band hit the nail on the head when they said that Johnny has the whole package. Oh. Who are you? Let's go. Yeah, yeah, Who are you? We're conning you all. It's yeah, all, it's all right. Hits. you feel, by the way, about the news that Johnny Shentel is going to be the new member of Hearsay? We're sitting around having a chat about it in the office today, and we suddenly realise this thing's been a complete and utter con, hasn't it? Because clearly they didn't look at anyone in those auditions. They already had old Johnny Boy lined up. You wouldn't make the decision in three days, would you? But so I personally just think it's a way of just trying to get a bit of extra TV, a bit of extra radio. I don't think that's going to work. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a fix. That bloke was just in the queue. He knew he was going to get it anyway, didn't he? I've just been stumped. Yeah, basically. Getting yeah. nervous because he's having a bit quiet, didn't he? No, I don't think it was a fix. But he lined up with all the others, didn't he? ITV2 did this yes. documentary where they followed here, say, through all those auditions and whatever it is. Yeah. And I must say, whatever doubts I had, I was convinced then it was for real. After I'm, that, I'm I said, glad. despite what Foxy says. Sometimes, no matter what you do, uh, people are going to write things anyway. And at, as we stand here today, people are writing that the audition process was a fix and that um, Johnny is an old pal and it was all fixed and we knew it from the start. It's insulting, actually, yeah, you know, and it insults the process, it insults the person. You know, they could just say, well done, Johnny, but that would take up half a sentence in a paper and, you know, that would be forgotten. We've decided that um, we want Johnny in the band. Well, there's obviously been a lot of you know, media frenzy over the, um, first of all, Kim leaving initially, obviously, which sparked it off. Then it was the auditions, and there was obviously more media frenzy over who's going to join here, say, who will it be, one of, you know, Pop Idol, or will it be Darius, or, you know, it's going to be someone completely new, and it turned out to be Johnny Chantal, you know, who is Lisa's fiancé from Steps. But then, obviously, the, you know, the papers went ballistic, saying, you know, is it a fix? Did they know each other? And trying to accuse Chris, the manager, you know, he knew them before. But on a personal level, I don't, to be honest, I don't think it is a fix. I mean, Chris is a good, upstanding man, and, you know, he's, he's managed to, uh, bands from Bross to Spice Girls to everything, so I don't think he's going to do something really snidey and do something like that and ruin everything. And the rest of you, can you applaud yourselves because you've done exceptionally well? When your name starts getting dragged into and, and associated with things that, you know, really were done all quite innocently, but, you know, have had this spin put on them and, it, it, you know, it's, you know, some of it is, is, is you know, really quite damaging. If, if it was Peter York or whatever, and he also was a dancer and I was on top of the pops and was, was a dancer for five, nobody would say anything. But because I think he's linked to someone famous, they think, oh, all that kind of pop world, they all know each other and et cetera, et cetera. I know that it wasn't a fix because I've been with Johnny you know, a few years now and we live together and he left me at seven o'clock on Sunday morning to go and queue in the rain with everybody else. And if it was fixed, he could have stayed in bed, really. <laughs> Dancing in the moonlight, everybody's feeling warm and bright. It's such a fine and natural sight. You know, it's that, you feel like you've got to apologise. Well, I'm sorry I've tried my best, and I'm sorry I've tried to be in a band before, and I'm sorry I've tried to practise my singing, you know? And I, there's no reason to apologise for it. You should embrace it. I know how it felt, sitting in that room, and having to stand up and wait for your turn to sing. Because I was the last in the row, because it was a row of five, the first time we sang. And the closer it got, the more I was shaking. My legs yeah. were going and everything. <laughs> but you did it, and you just took up a deep breath, did it, and, and I was glad I came. But you were in the same boat as, as everybody else. else. Absolutely. <laughs> you find yourself <laughs> justifying why you chose someone so strong. And yet you should just be celebrating it because yeah, we, we actually found that member. And yet we're doing a huge interview and, we're, and every newspaper's talking about it as to why we chose this and justify this to me. And I find that ludicrous. One thing which I read in the press was um, Dr Fox giving us a right slating. He should know how difficult it is for people to get into the industry and to continue in the industry. Yeah.
and applaud Johnny for coming back after after failing with the old band and and you know all the things that he could use for his own celebrity and hasn't at all. It's been up for the madness the last 24 hours. You're the Busby now, aren't you? Oh, from my phone never stops. My parents have been hounded. It's a nightmare. My brother got in from work on it was Tuesday, wasn't it? I'd been lost. It's just been a complete blur. And on Tuesday, in the there was this press, camera crews, everything outside my house in Yorkshire, and it was like, and you didn't know what was going on. Was like, oh, what? <laughs> Go away, leave me. <laughs> so it's just been madness. I'm walking down my local town, and it, everyone was turning around looking, and it was like, oh. Yeah. It's, me, it's only little old me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I think any publicity is, is good publicity because it keeps it in the forefront, you know. If, if they joined, if Johnny joined Hearsay and no one wrote about it apart from the Daily Star, you know. You're mullered, really. <laughs> if you choose to take the easy angle, then so be it. But some journalists haven't, and they've actually bothered to delve a little bit deeper. They'll be surprised. And it's good, because the more you underestimate us, the more, the more surprised you will be. Get on your feet. Stand up and take some action. You, you can hold an audition, and, and you, obviously we had, to, we had to find the right member, which was, which was Johnny. But... You look for different qualities, and obviously someone that had to come into hearsay had to mm. have the right qualities to fit in with an existing band. Mm. You've got to go with the best person and the right person for that job, um, and Johnny happened to be it. He was there, we spotted him, we're going, you know what, he's really going to fit in. I went into the room where everybody was being held what, you know, before um, the final four were chosen, and um, I don't know, they'd started a sing-song. And that exact situation just brought me straight back to pop stars. Yeah. I, I can't even tell you. And one of the people from the production kit team came up to me and went, oh, look at that. Can you see all the people who are sitting on the floor and not joining in? That's really bad. That shows a lot. And I turned around and I said, you know what? I would have been one of those people. There are a lot of people who weren't interested one bit until the cameras came in and then half the floor shifted and started singing. And I did even clock Johnny. I looked for where he was because I, obviously I'd known what was going on next door and I saw he was sitting down and I just thought, good on him. If you're different in front of the cameras and you're, you're playing a character... Yeah. And it's then, like, when do you yeah. take the mask off? When do you when, take the mask and off? And, like, we'd given them downtime. We're, like, gather your thoughts together for the next process. And, you know, mm. if there's a camera there and you want to sit, then we're very happy for that. And mm. that was part of it. In fact, that was one of the, again, the biggest parts of the audition for me, that and the interviews. I want to do it and get a, a really good chance behind me and have a good chance with these guys, because obviously you respect them, that's why I'm here. And is there anything in your past you would be afraid of showing up in the papers? My past? No. I'm a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I did notice through the auditions, there were people that wanted to be singers, yeah. and there were people that wanted to be famous. Really, really excited. I mean, anybody would be. You know, you come to the audition, you want to get in the band, so, you know, it's going to be a bit strange at first, but I cannot wait. Yeah. And there was a lot of people there that kind of would overruled by it and was like, yeah, when can I get um, my, you know, when can I get to the Met Bar or um, how many papers am I going to be in yeah. or how many television shows am I going to be on? And yeah. on I'm the, the paper tonight. today. And I got all excited, yeah, when I bought them all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm so There's bad. this big picture oh of her just getting this great big star like, oh, 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 video oh, 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 <laughs> I mean, did this seem really silly, but we were putting questions like, if Robbie Williams came up and asked you out now, would you go? Of course! <laughs> <laughs> right, <you're fine. laughs> And it was in that, that isn't how it is you? with us. That isn't, yeah. We got, really, us, we got yeah. really mad, so that's why she wasn't in the band. <laughs> I had my camera at the auditions, and I've been watching it back, just saying, you know, because we did the dance routines 12 times with each um, finalist. <laughs> And um, we just watched the one back with Johnny, and it just fitted. And knowing like, that he can sing, and knowing that how his personality is, and just seeing how the band worked. Because actually, to a degree, that was the last point, the aesthetics of it. Because we'd already decided like, that he did a very strong interview. When we actually were dancing and singing, and stick with us. We just were like, yeah, we made the right decision here. Great. So, like, on every level, it works. For me, when I found out, and even now, sat here, I don't actually think it's sunk in yet. And I, and I think, I said to the guys, I don't think it really will until we get bang on it and we get in the studio and we get in rehearsal rooms 
and, and we get on the TVs and, and we start promoting. And then I realise, oh my God, how much has my life changed? <laughs> I'm so glad that's over. That was that was quite never. Can't see. I'm a bit blind. I know it's a little early, but in light of what just happened, I think it's time for a bit of a celebration. And it hasn't sunk in yet, and I keep saying to my mum and dad, I, I just, I don't really believe it yet. I still pinch myself and think, oh my God. You know, there's no point in kind of keeping someone on if they're truly unhappy and, you know, not comfortable with the situation. The way we were formed and the way people know us and the support that we've had has been fantastic. But if you take away one of those elements, does that mean that you can't go on? love for Kim to have been part of the band and us all carry on like the Brady Bunch. Kim seemed to um, be in here, say, for one reason, and that was just to look after herself. No, I haven't spoken to Kim since. Not at all. Uh, last few days have been pretty good, actually, because it's kind of calmed down a little bit, but... Um... Not like last week, uh, you know, it was all kicking off last week with all the press and stuff like that, but yeah, no, it's settled back down, it's kind of like normal sort of pace at the moment. I think they just kind of just want to get back on with work now, it's all, you know, all the mess seems to be behind them now. This Saturday we've got our first exclusive TV, so we're really excited about that. Um, it's going to be the first, it's going to be like the big reveal again. Yeah. Today is my first interview with the rest of the guys live on TV. 20 past 10, we've got to be there by 11, so that's a tough draw. Hair, makeup, styling, probably a briefing on what they're going to ask us, and then bang, straight in there. We all went round to one of the guys' house and had a chat, and we all worked out some singing and stuff in case they throw we you sing for us, because obviously this will be the new new hearsay so we, we worked out a little acapella of one of their previous hits and it sounds wicked actually I was really pleased I was a little bit nervous because it's the first time we've actually had a little rehearsal because we obviously we, I, we sang with the band in the uh, audition but this is the first time we actually rehearsed something up so and I think they were pleased I constantly make sure I concentrated because I didn't want to do anything wrong but no it's cool and it sounds wicked so I'm really really pleased don't ask her, she'll know. It's sounded great to me. At the end of the day, I worked hard to, to get in this, this group and I, I feel proud. I'm just a little bit gutted that, that they're not just tapping me on the back and saying, well done, mate, you've done bloody well to get in there. But every single person in the last four had the background. There was a pop idol who got into the last 50. I think it was Tom. He'd done some backing singing for Westlife on the top of Pops Awards and there was a girl who used to be in a girl band called Girls at Play. So it, we all, all four of us had something and it showed because we've all we'd all done something before so we obviously had something about ourselves to, to get that far as well. So it made no difference. And then the evening of the Monday evening when we were always in the hotel room, it was just absolutely nightmare. It was the longest night of my life. We had some food and a couple of drinks and it was it was just really relaxed. And I just played it as myself and like just just chilled out and didn't really I didn't say too much, I didn't and I, I wasn't rude, I, I was just myself. And I think on that Monday night a lot of people were doing things to to keep keep the guys happy and like laughing at silly things. <laughs> It's there in people's different ways of dealing with things and a lot of that would have been nerves because it, even though it was on a friend, 
friendly basis and it was a get to know you session, it was still really quite nerve wracking because you didn't know if you were saying the right thing or the wrong thing. And it could have been quite easily done to say one silly comment and ruin your chances of being in in one of the, one of the biggest groups in Britain. <laughs> Everybody's getting ready for our first interview. Excited. What made you guys pick him? Um, well, we had a long audition process, but he really just stood, stood out. He really stood out for us. Since Kim left, she's been in the papers saying you've had so many rows that she's had counselling. Is this true? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, I think it went down really well. Um, it was a good interview. Oh, um, it was smashing! And we, um, yeah, we set the record straight. Well, uh, he's obviously more macho than Danny and Noel, but um, but I'm sure you need some of that kind of kind of oomphy manish in, in the band because you need all different aspects of you know people who love blondes love Suzanne, you know people who like great assets love Miley, you know that kind of thing. I think basically she just wanted us to put our point across and it was really cool because we, we were given the chance to do it. That's it, done for today. And get to go home now. Hello, how you going, kid? This is like our own MTV. Maybe I should be American. And uh, I've got two people in here, they're very famous, and one's even more famous than the other because he's the new member. And here they are! Hello! Alright. Welcome to the lads pad. <laughs> As you can imagine, you know, like, being the new member of VSA and all that, we're very busy. And so all we do is kind of sit around and play computer and don't do very much. <laughs> Isn't it, Johnny? It's hard work. Sorry, it's hard work. Oh, yeah. It's hard work. Top of the top. <laughs> We're going to have to disappear for a while, I reckon. Oh. And just take stock of it all and get, you know, get the routines down. Make sure we've recorded the single. We want to home in and do a bit of vocal rehearsals. And... But I think in a couple of weeks when it's really, really busy and full on, I'll be like, oh, it was really nice just, yeah. Yeah. just working away. I think it's been really good for you, really. <laughs> As a result of last week's press and everything, and you know how how this whole thing has really whipped up into a frenzy over the last couple of weeks, I think the decision really is to pull the band back a bit, you know, and just cool them off really, um, so that they can, you know, get their sort of act together, and um, and you know, and we pull them out of the public eye a bit, which is not such a bad thing at all. <laughs> that was one for you to be proud of it. That's it. The situation at the moment is we've turned up at um, the London Eye <laughs> and we haven't been invited and we haven't kind of done anything, we've just turned up and decided to blag and go on it. And luckily enough, we asked a question and we got to go on it. But that's cool, isn't it? Thank you. Thank you. 
You know, when, when fans come up and ask you for autograph, it's the least you can do. Hi, Suze. You never guess what? When we go on the London Eye, and they went, yeah, cool. And we're actually on the top now of the London Eye. We blagged it. She's going, ah. Oh. Yeah, that's why it took me so long to get to my room. When we filmed the opening for the tour, we actually flew over that. The, the, the London Eye, the uh, Battersea Power Station, and we had the door, the doors open. This big, like, black army helicopter. We're literally looking at. It was brilliant. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Nice uh, uh, do you like chickpeas? Massive. What chickpeas? <laughs> Have this, Johnny. I can't see Johnny. 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 All right, it's gone now. Oh. Oh. Anywhere you go, people, when they've had a few drinks or a few pints, they either want a curry or a kebab or a plate of chips. Chips. Salt, vinegar. The chips. chips. So good. It. Right, they're so good. Like, all you need with them is a bit of ketchup or a bit totally, of Totally, totally. Just always mushy peas. Oh, I'll go with mushy peas. Mushy baby. Chips, mushy peas, and pudding. Oi. Oh, oh, no. right. the, the last album we did was all rushed. It was all on tour. You know, we were we were doing matinees, and in between the matinee and evening show, going into a into a trailer to go and record the album. It was good. Thing, but we've got something new into the band. We've got Johnny into the band now, which has turned the whole thing around. Well, what's good is I don't even see this like as our next venture. I see this as like the beginning yeah, of a new. We've got a new member. We've got exactly. new producers on board. New A and R guy. Everything's new, so it's like an opportunity just to start again. Without a doubt. But that's where a group helps. Yeah, yeah, Otherwise, exactly. you'd be a solo artist. Is that, that's what you'd I'm be saying. trying to push yourself to do things you can't do because you've got no one else to fall back on. And that's what we do. And that's how a group works. What? I said exactly that member's left now. Oh. <laughs> amicable. Amicable, yeah. Amicable. Amicable. <laughs> What's that mean? Amicable. How many wines do you have? Have another drink, Sis. I have I to go. Sorry, Gary. I have to go. I would have liked for her to have sat down and said, this is what, this is this is situation. And I think he never wanted to make it work. You know, there's five members who know the full truth of what went on. But I'm not bitter at all, so. <laughs> bye bye.